All right, so today I need to finish up with the render graph. I really do. I need to get this stuff as much as possible out of the bring up application and move on. I've spent enough time on this so far. Kind of humming and hawing about like, you know, what, what exactly I want to do. So render scene, it can't move because it's using render, uh, render state, which is exclusively in the bring up application for the moment. So that's got to stay there. UI pass, that's part of Iron GUI, that can be shifted out. XR swap chain, that's part of the OpenXR, that can be shifted out. So, <clears throat> to begin with, uh, let's have a look. I don't have anything in here, but I have some Vulcan specific stuff going on here in Iron GUI renderer specifically. State has nothing. Renderer has Vulcan stuff. On initialize and on draw, and some held data and some internal stuff. So I don't really need... Okay, let's split Vulkan away from I'm GUI right now. So we'll just kind of put in a new Vulkan in here and we'll have a new library that, which will A, take in the I'm GUI renderer and then take in the new UI pass that I have. CMake lists txt. That will grab the old one as well, side by side. Okay, we've got these. So it'll be I'm GUI underscore VK. That and that. I'm not entirely sure if I want to generate an export header quite yet. I do need the include directory though. I need to include some libraries, which are the graphics VK, yes. WSI, I'm not sure on. I'm GUI will null and no, so for I'm GUI though, yes. Graphics VK will be ripped out of here. WSI will stay there for the moment. Target code coverage, I want that. Not sure if I have any exceptions in here. I don't remember. So that, that, and that, and that. Okay, great. We're going to include so that subdirectory. Ribs or Vulcan. Nope, not that. Source, we want to include. Like that, okay. Make lists.txt. We're going to include sorry, Vulcan VK. We'll just keep it simple like that. We'll have the render.hpp moved over for the moment. Same thing with this, this, and the, okay, this, this, and this need to be shifted over to there. Great. So this is just the state, that's all it has. It's pretty simple. This. Has that. Uh, VK render, great. Yep. Needs a separate export. I'm also going to want to rework this interface for sure. Over the course of this project, I've just kind of shied away from having C++ classes as like this. I like to have more flexibility down the line than these offer. I mean, if this stuff is already private, then like there's no point in having it publicly available anyways. If it's protected, sure, but it's not. Right? So, it's just wasted. Just wasted. I'll just leave it at that. Um, so we got all that. 
I need, oh yeah, yeah, I need the export public. Here. We got that, export file name, VK. VK export, okay. Got that there. Go, go. Okay. That. Oh, I need to include the public. So it's this slash public. All right. I also need to, as part of the base application, editor mode with this and faux engine IM GUI. Okay, where is this? That's there. On VK. Lovely. And then finally, here it brings in that. Okay. Make sure that's fine. as it should be. Sure. Then at this point I want to move this into here and this into here. Whoops, wrong source. There it is. So you uh, when Render graph UI pass. UI job. <coughs> kind of rename it to that. Render graph job I am GUI. That so we got so we're pulling that in and down here. We've got to do the same thing. That we want to bring this into here. I'm going to register. Not entirely sure on that. But the rest of these are fine. Um, I need to add it to be actually. Copy that. Move it from here. Hmm. I'm not exporting it, am I? So let's Export this, auto that. Let's 
So now it'll link up. Mm -hmm. So we'll call it O I M three V K. Your UI job, something like that. Bit of a mouthful, but it'll work. Okay, one thing I want to try is if I remove the editor mode, will it still compile? Like, am I miss it? Do I have any um, extra? things hanging around. Because if editor mode is turned off, then none of this I'm GUI stuff should be just in the realm of, yeah, okay, it builds fine. Real fast, right? Um... Nothing's happening at all. Okay, that's not good. That is... Um, okay, I'm going to have to look at that. So... If I turn editor mode back on... <clears throat> Then I can move the stuff around again, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so got that, 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 that. All of this stuff. So regular I'm GUI should not should just has state for now it should not have Vulcan being brought in it's just WSI GUI dialog yeah for whatever reason when I turn off editor mode then it just ref doesn't um, It's not responding to the mouse movement clicks or something. That's not good. It's not good at all. Run, please. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the main application, please. So let's say we're doing render call, initialize, blah, blah, blah. When I'm getting keyboard and mouse, Somewhere, deinitialize, great, keyboard. Okay, I'm entering into here, right? I'm still, like, this is still being called. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to this in here. Where is it? There it is. I have a problem. 
So it's not the fact that it's not calling anything. It's just not going through. Do I have a problem down here? Okay, let's... Is this it? Is it like getting stuck here or something? Present image resource. It's being updated depending on which of these we're hitting. Then it goes to here. Okay. And then we'll pause. Where are we sitting? They're just processing stuff. That's great. But are we just never rendering anything again? Okay. So, okay. Cool. Right, we're setting some things up to render and then we never <clears throat> actually leave for whatever reason. Like, do we have anything? Okay, oh, okay, here we go. We got something. I just kept kept missing. So, uh, unknown VK structure type. When in the P create info P next chain. What? So the device is just not being created cleanly, is that it? But if I have it under editor mode, it is? Is this what I'm reading? Is this, is this what I'm seeing? I, I must be missing something. No, 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 no. It's still doing that fine. And this one's still... Okay, so I do... Okay, for I do have that either way. But I also have this other thing that's going on. So... Let's do one thing at a time. See, make, let's do the editor mode one and then we'll find out what the other one is about. So what's going on here? Present image resource is changing from this. Like this is the only, this is the only difference between this and that. So hold on. Realistically, it should be this, right? All you're doing is you're updating this. Now the engine is running. If I leave it, I come back. Yeah, it's just not rendering. Why? Is it because I'm not... No, no, it's still the same. It's the same thing on the way out. No, that's fine. The frame. 
the frame complete. Is this it? This must be it. Oh, okay. I don't have a frame complete. I'm never firing off the fe the the, uh, the fence. So it never thinks it's done. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I need to add fencing to this, to the swap chain type. So how do we do it here? We have do, 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 the name and then the VK fence. Like that. I need... So first of all, if So I need something like this that doesn't have any jobs associated with it. All right, all this. I got the weight semaphores. That's great. And now I need to add it to the queue. So first of all, if fence. Then I need to, okay, if, if this is the case, if fence, okay, let's just say, and we need to like this we have no signal semaphores submit fence submit info I mean this is what I want we need to we can't wait for that we need to use the weight semaphores are already available for us so this dot data Count, weight 74 is the weight mask. Then I need to signal a single new semaphore. So to make this easier, Create a new semaphore. So, can I create one here? Hmm. It's another device. So graphics. Session, something else, so get the 
UK Geek Device. Create some four. We'll have a uh, I don't think I don't really have any here. So we have error code equals that. Turn error code. Don't really have a good escape mechanism out of here yet. Otherwise, it becomes one. Signal semaphore, great. And then this guy is going to be waiting on this one you then I can maybe refine this a little bit oh and then yeah dot fence if we have a fence from that great Then Q becomes that. Where we use it. <laughs> right. I think you're going to do. Yes, we're back on track. <clears throat> That's great. That's great. Oh, um, and I'm not deleting it, right? that and then we're going to set up a function to delete it delete resource call that's not what I'm looking for I'll have it around here resolve image one of these will be deleting something there we go
right about here. Instead, it's going to be victory. destroy semaphore. Has not been, yeah, these, none of these were destroyed during the meantime. Let's do it this time, right? We're going to destroy them properly. Uh, it's in the background, it's in the background. Okay, yes, 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 great. Let me close it, no problems, just this one. Okay. I can live with that. I am gooey. This goes against what the end goal is supposed to be for modularity. Also holds the Self-contained manner. Okay, we got that. <clears throat> Let's uh, do this, where we add the ability to do. Uh, uh, first, actually, let's do if we turn editor mode back on. Do we do we then fail from this? Oh no! No, I didn't want to help. No, I don't want to help. Still, no. Generate. Still good. Okay. Had to be done. As...
is used in Is, <clears throat> however, it now ha now it has been added, so, so a simple submission used after the to signal fence then. Image presentation commands. Okay. Mm. I want to do one last thing. I didn't even change, did I? Yeah, uh, I need to change that as well. That, that, and that. That, that, and that. Great. Put these in, fix up, stash, four, fix up, and it uh, looks like I want to actually reword this a little bit, render graph George, the job. Right. Now I want to do similar to OpenXR. I'm going to rename this from just Faux XR OpenXR to just Faux OpenXR. Then I'm going to have a sub library which is Faux OpenXR VK. I don't necessarily need to put XR in front of it. I know what it is. Will it, would it be a sub library of this? Not really. But Vulkan is definitely a sub library of this. Like this, there isn't really much of a direct. There is a direct link between them. Um, this is one of possibly many, but the Vulcan and this is, well, that's the same as well. You know what? I just, I'm doing it just because, just because. So, first of all, libs, Vulcan. This also has Vulcan stuff in here, right? Yes. Include foe. XR. And then what? Do I want to do XR open? No. Source. I already have one here. Okay. Let me close the others. We'll have this. Okay. It'll be that. We have this. This is direct, right? Yeah. No, it's not direct anymore. It's going to be using... Because of the render graph. The render graph is kind of 
right there. Subdirectory for the source. Include directories one. We have that. We have include. Include and the public. Or the link in the libraries, which is going to be. Coverage again. Do I have do I really have exceptions? I really don't think so. I gotta look into that. Perhaps start ripping those things out. Okay, so things I need to rip out. This guy is coming out. Is there any Vulcan specific stuff in here? I need to Vulcan Vulcans going away from here. Vulcan's going away from here. We are the Vulcan. Right there. The header. VK. Okay, we want to grab this around, move that, move this around to there. Something like that. Um, fo open XR UK export Vulcan H. We're using this. We're also returning all this. That's not great. Right, it's gone from here. Okay, this is what I'm expecting is some items like this XR, VK, yeah, yeah. This is probably going to need a bit more refinement than I'm giving it, actually, as usual. So, full XR, open XR.
Okay, this is not happening. Fo open XR VK Vulcan or Fo open XR VK Vulcan. That is correct. Am I just oh I'm not building the library, am I? Right, I have a faux log, but I don't actually. Okay, I need a log. This, <clears throat> wow, I really haven't done much this year, have I? That's disappointing. This is a new file. This is a new file. I should also look at the other ones. Something more like that. Oh, I do not like that. <clears throat> But if it works <clears throat> for a moment, I'll live with it. Okay. 
This is all returning XR result when it should be returning standard error codes. It's returning, yeah, physical devices. So it is returning, it is using some VK stuff just for that, but it is. Okay, what are the if defs? got this we got all these down to here we'll have this one as well Because part of application will need some stuff. Okay, that's not part of it. This needs to be added to some the other one. Actually, no, that doesn't have to be. Neither, none of these actually have to be. fine. That needs to be added. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, am I happy with the XR open oh open XR VK? Am I Yeah, yeah I will be. Because <clears throat> graphics slash VK makes a bit enough sense. I am GUI VK makes sense. Unless I just want to do like faux Vulcan, which is based off graphics. Uh, 
I'll it'll be it'll work for now. I can change it later. Since I really don't know what but I do need to update that. And I did need to update that. Uh, extracted. Okay, we got that. Then we got render scene and some other items for this. And then I'll just kind of ship this out of here. Just put it down out of that. You know what? No, no, no. I'll just actually, I will leave them in the sub. That for the moment. Four hundred lines of code. Four fifty. Hmm. For a lot more abstraction. Hmm. Okay, it was about an hour, so I'm going to put that up, make sure it all works across all the platforms, then I'll be back to do something, probably a bit more refinement of something, like probably this will be changed over to some standard error codes, and some other things, I'm sure, I'm not entirely sure, uh, so be back in a moment. Okay, I don't really have time to continue refining the gra uh, uh, the graphics render graph right now. So what else? Can I, what I'll do instead is I'll just kind of finish reorganizing or refactoring a little bit of this, because if I recall correctly, even though these things are like just in full XR instead of full XR Open XR, they still use Open XR specific items. Yes, so I'll. Get these sh things shifted around. So first of all, am I happy with it? Okay, moving back to this. Actually, what I need this needs to be in a subdirectory XR, fo XR open XR VK. First of all, so we'll do that. It's a bit of a you know mouthful, but this does allow, preferably, what's going to happen here. 
that needs to be changed as well is this is all in service of keeping things to he like headers together as much as possible especially I mean it's typically not a problem in the projects I do but I've been in other projects where there's like you know a huge number of headers for whatever awful reason and it is always an awful reason but that's what other people sometimes do. So to help with that, try to deal with cases like that, I want to make sure that these things are all kind of tied together. Like faux graphics, and faux graphics VK, they're all like, when the headers are sorted, they're all together. Same thing with XR. Faux XR, faux XR, open XR, which should actually just show up in a moment. Anyways, once I build this, do when we have an error like this one, XR, open XR. Okay, when we get to the application, something like this, yeah, so that they all tie to, whoop, tie together very nicely. So they all, yeah. Otherwise, they could, if there was faux XR and faux open XR, it may be like somewhere else in the header group. I mean, this is a very trivial reason to do it, I know, but it's like one of those really minor quality of life things that when you do get on a lot of project where where people lose control of the source code and it just becomes a, a seemingly free-for-all like it is one of those quality of life things that I just really un unfortunately appreciate when it's done when it's done like this more yeah see it all kind of ties together nicely and it's organized by, you know, directory. Woo, amazing. <laughs> okay, we got that. So that is for XR, open XR. I need XR, oh yeah, I need to do, okay. Make sure this works, build libs. Yeah, from something else. This isn't the thing we're using anymore. We're still down here. Mm, libs public. Okay, get rid of this. Make sure we rebuild. So we're using the correct one. Because the old header will still be there from the previous build. Yeah, that's good. So we got all that. And then I want to move the rest of these. Okay, let's get this portion done first, actually. Um, Vulcan, Vulcan, Vulcan. Oh, this is also... Doesn't really matter that much, does it? Okay, we do a few more changes. Hmm. Okay. Grouping. That's it, that's it. Okay, that's it for that one. Now I want to move these. These are all using XR, open XR type. So these all need to be shifted up to here. This needs to be XR, 
open the XR. We'll just do that, and that, and that. Okay, uh, that requires a few minor modifications elsewhere. Notably, open XR button. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I also need to rework that a little bit, don't I? Same thing for error code. XR session, I guess. going on there. Run it, make sure things are working. I mean, they should, realistically, right? XR, I got the VR set up. Hurry up and load, okay, it's all good, it's rendering good. Just do this, is there anything else? We have these, okay. Of the headers. be under more consistent grouping. Okay. Now Next thing I wanted to do real on here was the fact that these are like faux XR projection matrix. This isn't XR like the generic XR. So I need to change this several things. So it's instead of this, it's going to be like you know faux open XR. Do that. Yes. Nope.
this looks to all be very specifically yeah so instead it's going to be open XR enumerate error code uh, yeah XR opens all getting shifted over to open XR like I'm just getting rid of the first open XR I'm just getting rid of the XR I'm not going to do like like Vulcan uh, where I have full graphics VK just full open XR is going to be more than enough because XR is already in the name of open XR so that makes enough sense now what else we got that this one yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah For the moment, I only have open XR sessions, so do that. I need to also change this around. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, is there anything else I'm missing in here? These two. What is this? Is this for my codes? No, it's for their codes. So. So do that. Not here. Wait, this is the wrong one, isn't it? This is mine. This is absolutely incorrect. So I need to do it here. That makes sense. Uh, go back to here. Global Open XR category. Const. Global G or C? Ah, it's C, I guess. It's not really, it's not technically global, it's just constant just in this file. So that's how I'll justify that one. Otherwise, this error code, this is incorrect. No, this is correct. Full open XR error category. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's make sure I'm full formatted. Okay, that's fine enough for me. Uh, 
Rather than the awkward. Tentav. Tentavu. Tentav. Te da. This. Tentatively. Things. Um, Okay. And I'll leave it at that for today. Next time, I, I'll work on refining the render graph again. Most probably dealing with image layout changes or image transforming images, not necessarily implicitly, but handling them better than uh, what I'm doing now, which is if I just double check. I'm pretty sure I'm doing a lot of groundwork manually. So when I'm doing, yeah, like when I'm doing render scene, I ha I provide the initial and the out, the initial and the final layout of the image, and I'm doing it here rather than having it kind of a smarter system. So there has to be a better system than keeping track of it and doing it manually here. I'll do that next time. So until then, cheers.